Good morning, friends. I want to let you know this morning that God is standing right outside your door, that he is looking on you with favor and that he is guarding you and he is protecting you and he's giving you the ability to lie down in green pastures and to have the peace that transcends all understanding. As I had shared in a video kind of recently, I had been struggling for about two weeks with, with all these battles and, and it was really tough and Satan really does want to wear down the saints and we feel, we get to the point where the battles get so tough and so strong that sometimes we feel like we're at a place where we just want to give up and that that's the enemy's goal. He wants us to give up. Um, but but then God led me to to pray powerfully with other believers and he delivered me. And then a few days after I felt that deliverance and that shift in the spirit realm, I had this this amazing dream. And in my dream, I was I was in my bed just laying and sleeping peacefully and there was this beautiful deer, this gentle and kind deer just laying next to me. And when I woke up, I felt this sense that I was laying down in a green pasture with this deer. And then in my dream, I got out of my bed and I went downstairs and I looked out the window and looking, looking at me from right outside the window was this other animal that was looking at, looking right at me with like these piercing eyes. And I don't know if it was a deer or more like a ram. Um, it was kind of smaller than the, than the deer, but it had these big horns and they were really thick at the head of the deer. And then they went out kind of thinner as they, as they went out. And they reminded me of those horns used in the Bible to anoint people with oil. And <laughs> that, that animal that was outside the window represented to me, uh, God's protection his protection over his people so that we can lie down in green pastures and also the victory that he gives to, to those that are, are trusting in him and persevering and not giving up in their walk, um, continuing to press forward even when times are difficult. So uh, Psalm 23 came to mind. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. And then also... Psalm 148, verse 14, like a bull with mighty horns, the Lord protects his faithful nation, Israel, because they belong to him. Shout praises to the Lord. The raised horn is a common biblical symbol of victory, especially of being rescued from oppression. When God exalts the horn of someone, he is bringing victory to the oppressed. So that animal with, with those horns represented victory and that God was bringing victory to me as, as I was oppressed and as I was going through these battles that the victory had come. Horns represent strength, power, and victory in battle. Psalm 18, verse 2, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. So a horn also symbolizes strength. The ram type animal that was outside my window was protecting our household and standing guard so that I could lie down in green pastures without fear or without care. And the animal represented God's protection over his people. So I want to encourage you today, friend, God sees you. He, he's looking at you with, the, with those piercing eyes. Um, he is standing guard. He is, he is protecting you. He is watching over you. And even though some days it feels like the enemy is winning and it feels like uh, like the, the battles raging and those strongholds can, can be so strong sometimes. Um, God is our victory and he will bring that deliverance that, that you're waiting for, that you're praying for. And he is standing guard and he desires us to lie down in those green pastures and to rest in him. So I'm going to pray for your deliverance today, friend, if you've been praying for that and for victory for you. Father God, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for the deliverance and the victory that you give to your people, God. Thank you, Father, that you are our rock. You are our shield. You are the horn of our salvation. You are our stronghold. You are our strength and you are our deliverer. God, you know today how my friend needs to be delivered, Lord. You know the exact way that they need to be delivered, Lord. You see their deliverance, God. Even if they can't see it, we know that you do, God. We pray that you'd bring them to the other side, God, of this battle. Um, that you would reach down your, your sovereign hand, God of mercy and grace, and pull them out, God, to the other side. We know, Lord, that your desire for them is to lie down in green pastures, to walk along those quiet waters, and to restore their soul. 
God, may they take refuge in you. May we take refuge in you today. Hide us in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, friend.